What's up, YouTube? It's Mark here from Next Level Tech and Android TV Tips, and today we got another video. Um, I had promised one of my fellow creators, uh, Philly Cable Dave, that I would come out with a video showing how to enable an Amazon account with no payment information on it so that you'd be able to access applications like Downloader and download it. So if you were giving these devices to a family member or a friend and you didn't want them to bother having to um, deregister or register the device, you could leave this account on there. Um, now the process changed a little bit since the last time I've done this and it took me a little bit longer to make this video so my apologies. Uh, before I get into all of that information um, about how to create the Amazon account if you're going to be giving a device to a family member or a friend and they don't want to deregister the device, um, make sure to check the description down below for all the latest coupon codes, promotions and all the links as well. Uh, right now NordVPN is a three-year deal going on. I think it's two or three-year deal, 73% off. You get an additional four free months. It's the VPN that I've been using for the past, you know, four or five years. Uh, really happy with it. It's got the built-in ad blocker, so you don't have to fight with, you know, using a separate ad blocker and a VPN. It does it all, all in one. And it also gives you the ability to add in AdGuard's DNS. I'll leave a card in the top right of this video here showing you how that process looks like using NordVPN. Uh, as well as the Telegram group is over 2,200 members now and growing. It's the quickest and easiest way to share information when it comes to streaming. Um, and the link is on the screen as well as in the description of this video. So make sure that you come over and join the community so that you can stay up to date with all the latest tips and tricks when it comes to streaming. So let's jump right into it, guys. I want to say, starting this off, it took me a little bit longer to make this video because Amazon changed the process. You are now required when you're setting up an Amazon account to link it to a phone number. And unfortunately, all the phone numbers that I personally own um, are linked to Amazon accounts already because of this process. Now, I had to reach out to a couple of my friends and ask them if they had a phone number that wasn't linked to an Amazon account just so I could show you guys this process. So unfortunately, if you are going to be doing this, you will have to use a phone number. Now, I've tried to use the virtual numbers um, through a couple of applications and websites that are free, but unfortunately, those have all already been burned by people setting up Amazon accounts with them. So uh, you won't have very good luck with those. Um, I guess a, a tip, if you have, you know, a tablet or a data only device, those come with phone numbers as well. And you can use the phone number from those to receive an SMS. It just, it may charge you SMS fees in regards to receiving that text message. But who knows, maybe that dollar fee might be worth it just to set up a, a, an account account that you would be able to use running multiple sticks on it. So we'll jump right into it. I've already set up the account with a username, password, and obviously the phone number for verification purposes. I have not put any payment information and we're gonna connect it and go through the process right now. So we're gonna click on, I have an account. It's gonna give me this code. So I'm gonna go over to my browser and enter the code in here. So the code is a7y6ha now keep in mind the codes obviously device specific and it's immediately going to take us to this part of the process it's going to say select your address and you're going to have to enter something now this is an address that you're going to want to remember it doesn't have to be legitimate but you're going to need this for future pur uh, purposes if possibly so i usually pick you know some kind of city hall or something so for this demonstration i'm going to be using uh the city hall of new york so we're going to go and copy this information here and jump back over All right, so once you've entered that information, you're gonna see success. And if you go back over to your Fire device, it's gonna say successfully registered. And if we go here now and we click on continue, uh, you can say yes or no, it depends on yourself. Now, once you've entered that code into your browser, it's immediately gonna take you to where you need to enter an address. Now, if you don't enter an address here, it will actually give you an error message that looks like this, saying that you need to enable one click. Now, 
you can enter whatever address that you want to. I usually recommend entering something that you'll remember if you need to access the account and get locked out for whatever reason. It may confirm that information. Typically, I pick a city and I pick the city hall of that city. Um, and uh, that's what I use for the addresses because it doesn't really matter. Once you have an address on file, you'll be able to download whatever you want from the app market as long as they're free applications. Once you enter the address, it actually enables by default something that's called one click. And you can see on the screen with the error message here that you need one click enabled in order to download um, the free applications even like Downloader. So if you go over to your account. So if we click on our accounts from here, and we scroll all the way down on the left hand side, you'll see one click settings. Now, as long as you have an address on here, doesn't matter. You can't technically disable the one click as long as you have an address on here. If you click on disable, even if it's disabled here, you're still going to be able to download applications that are free in the Amazon App Store. Just to show you guys, I have no purchase method here. I can click on change. There's nothing here. I have no cards. I have no visas. I have no Amazon gift cards, nothing. Right. But if I switch back over to my device, now it says that I already own it because I've already tried this process on this account already. And that's why I've had to use screenshots. Unfortunately, once I put the address on there, I can't remove it which automatically enables me to be able to download these applications, right? So you can see it's downloaded. I own it already. It's we're good to go. And because it says that we own that application and it's part of that Amazon account that we've set up, we now have the ability to enable things like auto updates. Um, you know, these applications will roam with this device wherever it goes, as long as it's registered under this account that we've set up. So the people don't necessarily need to deregister and re-register unless they're looking to get access into things like, you know, their Amazon Prime and their applications that they actually use. There are a lot of benefits from using their own account. However, some people don't care about that stuff. And we try to make it as simple and as easy as possible. So that's why knowing how to set up what I call a dummy account for these devices can be very beneficial and making the process very smooth for our family members and friends. So I hope that this was really simple for you guys. Just to recap, because I couldn't record all of the process, you want to make sure that when you enter the pin number that it gives you on the browser that logs you into your Amazon account, that you set it up with a valid address. It doesn't have to be your address, but I do recommend it's an address that you're going to remember. And as long as the account has an address on it, you don't need to put financial information on that account. You can give it to whoever you want and they'll not be able to purchase anything from the app store and have it hit your credit card or your bank accounts. All right, so I do hope that this was beneficial for you guys. It's been Mark from Next Level Tech, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Hey everybody, uh, just before we get going, I wanted to say a huge thank you, much love and appreciation to everyone who supports what I do over here on Next Level Tech. Make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button and share these videos with a family member and friend. 